Hi everyone, this is an introduction to GCC Media Studies. Uh, in this video I'm going to tell you what Media Studies is all about, what topics we're going to study, what skills you guys will need in order to succeed in years uh, 10 and 11, and what kind of student you should be in order to succeed in Media Studies. So the first thing I'd like us to talk about is what is Media Studies? So media is all around us, and you can see here that media includes advertisements. It includes the apps on your phone, or on your computer, or on your uh, Xbox or PlayStation. It includes films. It includes uh, film marketing and film posters. It includes magazines. It includes music, uh, also music videos. It includes newspapers, radio, social media. All the platforms, I mean, they have the word media in them, so it's an obvious example of media, uh, television, video games, and websites. We will actually be studying over the course of the two years all of these. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. So, the course is divided into three components. Each component has its own theme or its own um, purpose. Component one is a bit like an introduction to media studies. So here in section A, we're only focusing on media language and representation. So that means how are people being shown? How are different ideas being shown? Uh, what are the meanings behind the colors and behind the pictures and behind the language? It's very much what you've been doing uh, since year seven. We will be studying the front covers of two different newspapers, The Guardian and The Sun, both focusing on Brexit. We will be studying two film posters from the James Bond series, uh, one from many years ago, The Man with the Golden Gun, and one from 2015, Spectre. Then we will study two magazine covers, one from a magazine called Pride, aimed at black British women, and one is GQ, and you can see the rock is on the front cover, and it is aimed at British men. Lastly, we'll study two print adverts, one from the 1950s for the chocolate company Quality Street, and one from a more recent campaign called This Girl Can, uh, which intended to promote exercising and uh, no shame in sweating and having red face uh, for women when they exercise. Then section B, we go behind the scenes of media and we see what are the industries like, how do they create media products and how do they make money by appealing to different audiences. So we will study once again the Sun newspaper in addition to its website. We will study the film industry the marketing behind Spectre and its website. We will study a very famous radio show called The Archers. It's a bit of a soap opera, very dramatic, that takes place in a farming area. And lastly, we will study Fortnite, uh, the video game industry, how they make money, and how do they find audience members. Then we move on to component two where we take everything we study in component one and apply it to specific products or specific media texts. So component two, section A is all about television shows, specifically crime drama. We will study the first episode of Luther, the crime drama from BBC. And we will study the first 10 minutes of an older crime drama show called The Sweeney. We will see how representation on television has changed. For example, there were no black detectives uh, during the Sweeney, there were no women playing important roles, uh, but as time went on, these things have changed. We will study the marketing, we will study how they make TV shows, and if we're lucky, we might even get to talk to a few people from the TV industry. Then, component two, section B, is all about music videos and the artists online. So, it has to do with the music video by Katy Perry for Roar, uh, Pharrell Williams' music video for Freedom, and a band from the 1990s called TLC from America, and their song 
uh, end music video for Waterfall. In addition to that, we will study the artists online and how they find their fans. We will study the social media accounts and websites of both Katy Perry and Pharrell. The last component is component 3, and that is your coursework, or as they call it, the NEA, the Non-Examined Assessment. We will be, or sorry, you will be creating a new music artist, and you will be creating a website for them. In addition to creating the website, you'll also have to create a 30 second um, audio or video that has to do with the artist. Now, what kind of skills will you need in order to be the best media student? First of all, you will need the ability to compare. Not only to compare two different posters or two different TV shows, I'd like you to also compare different time frames. I'd like you to compare different cultures compare different purposes, different representation. It's all about what is the same, what is different, and why is it so? What has changed in society and the world? There will be a lot of analysis, a lot of connotations, a lot of interpretations. You will have to criticize texts, especially if they're sexist or racist, and you have to state your opinion. You will be creating media texts, not only the website, but other texts as well when we have some extra time. You will be conducting quite a lot of research and we will have a lot of discussions and debates in class. These discussions and debates are also part of your final grade. This is how I know how much you understand. And this will bring us to what makes the best media studies student. The ideal media studies student will be curious you don't have to know everything. In fact, the less you know, the better, because you have a completely fresh outlook on the media. You cannot be wrong in media studies. As long as you have a point and an evidence to back up your point, you're right. You cannot be wrong. You have to be respectful, respectful of different people's religions, ethnicities, sexualities, um, gender, and opinions in general. You might not agree with someone, but you have to respect their opinion. And respect goes a long way in media studies. You have to be opinionated, as in I'd like you to have your own opinions. Even if they might come across as rude, there's always a way to present your opinion in an appropriate way. You need to be creative. That does not mean you have to know how to draw or you have to know how to sing or how to dance. It means that you need to take a chance to trust yourself and create something new. You will be able to do it with enough practice, but there is no such thing as ugly or not creative in media. You need to be open-minded. You will learn about information that you've never heard of before. Your opinions will change. Your beliefs might change. The way you view the world will change, which is a great thing. All of the information in the course will come from me, but all of the learning will come from you and from your friends. You will learn the most from each other rather than from your teachers. Lastly, if you're curious what lessons look like or how the Media Studies course operates, you can go to www.mrkampner.com slash gcse-media. And as you can see from these pictures, every topic that we have has its own page. Uh, every page has all the lessons, the booklets that you'll be writing in, useful videos, useful links, useful uh, handouts, uh, and it gives you a good idea of how large this subject is and how much it encompasses. If you have any questions about anything that has to do with media studies, please contact me, Mr. Kempner, or Mr. Whelan uh, through EduLink or via email. We're both looking forward to seeing you in media studies. We're a very popular course. This year we have three year 10 classes. We would like to have maybe four next year. So 
will be looking forward to seeing you then.